These are the 23 types of players in Valorant. The Skin Collector is a player that literally everyone seems to know because these people are addicted to buying Valorant skins and showing them off to their friends. These are the type of players that need to flex everything they own and just brag. But if you're a skin collector, you might not want to have your hacker friend know. These are the Valorant players everyone gets either hates or loves. Oh. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Volcano! These players either really suck at the game, or these players are just bored, so they download cheats. If you go up against a hacker, you might end up becoming a rage quitter. These players are the players that get mad at every little thing that happens to them. But not only that, they also might be the funniest person in the group. Hearing that one friend that rages all the time is pretty funny. Throwing my bread. <laughs> but if you haven't rage quit yet, the players with the worst oh, luck might be on their way to quitting. Literally, if I end scope, he peeks. These are the players that have the worst luck in anything they try to do. It could be turning around for one second and getting eliminated, or even just lagging at the wrong moments. <laughs> Now, if having the worst luck wasn't enough, the stream snipers might make you even want to lose your mind. The stream sniper is that one player on your team who stream snipes the other team, or you are the one getting stream sniped, which isn't always fun. But neither is getting grief. The griefer is the player who always has to play an agent that can eliminate your own team. These players are usually the goofy ones and try to have a fun time, but if they keep doing it, you just want the game to end already. And if you keep getting griefed, you may end up being the AFK player. The AFK player is the player who starts the game just to go AFK the entire game. Or you're just the player that goes AFK in the wrong moments. <laughs> now going AFK could make you become the inconsistent player. The inconsistent player is the player who could go 30 and 4 one game to literally being the bottom fragger the next game. and the next, and the next. And eventually, they're going to make excuses, like that one friend you know who always talks about his ping. There's no way I hit the mid-site trip. No, no way, there's... My game's broken. Exactly you see that? This player does not shut up about how bad their ping is when they die. I mean, literally, we get it. Just say you're bad. And eventually, you're going to get annoyed and just end up being the lone wolf. The Lone Wolf is a player that always plays by themselves, either because they hate playing with other people, or just enjoy not being bashed about what they're not doing right while playing the game. Especially if it's unrated. And we all have that one player who just doesn't know what they're doing. The confused player is that one player who looks like an NPC while they play, and you usually try not to laugh at them and make them feel bad, or you do. And if you haven't laughed already, how about laughing at the one player who is always storytelling about Valorant? The storyteller is that player that knows everything about the game, and even the story behind the game. I mean, this player is just addicted to the game, and they seem to want to know every detail about it, even though it isn't necessary at all. Even though it might seem that the player doesn't get off the game, we all seem to have that one friend who just wants to be the pro. The pro player is that player that eat, sleeps, Valorant, repeat. They don't do anything else but play Valorant. And not only do we all have that one pro friend, but we also have that one toxic friend. The toxic player is that player either just being toxic just to be funny, or is actually being serious. Smoke and forfeit, dude. If you guys want to throw it, like, just smoke and forfeit. You're wasting time. And every time you die, they either have something to say or end up being the spectator flexor. This person always has to flex how good their aim is or just sweat all of a sudden just because you're spectating them. I was fucking around, I was fucking around. Fuck. That we fucked up. We might win this. One enemy remaining. Revealing enemy. I'm gonna turn the stream off, chat. I'll see you guys tomorrow, no joke. No! No way! No way! He choked. Wait, how did I kill him? I thought I hit him twice, for sure. Oh. Oh my god! Oh.
This player also has the biggest ego on the team. They for sure think they are the best player on the team, even though they are definitely not. And if you think being the best player is bad, how about the player that has to 1v1 you every time you guys get on? The 1v1er is the player who loves to 1v1 even though they know they are going to destroy you. They just love to get their confidence up by beating the worst player on their friends list. This player swears they think they should be radiant, but have you ever played with someone who is better than their actual rank? The Smurfer is that player who is probably plat or higher and wants to crap on lower ranks for fun. Or because they got banned on their main account for saying stupid things in chat. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking to you trolls. Which brings us to the next player, the Troller. I like bananas. Do I like bananas? I love bananas. I like bananas too. I love bananas, holy fuck. The troller is the guy who never takes the game seriously. Hello, mommy. Yo! Hello. How big are your mommy milkers? <laughs> what? This player is probably the type of person to grab the spike and just hold it in the back of the spawn till he gets eliminated. And now, just threw you guys the round. Or this player is a fun troller and plays brim smokes and shotgun only. But when they get a kill, they may end up becoming the gun thief. The gun thief is the player who steals the weapons on the ground either when you needed one, when the round is over, or they steal your weapon when you get eliminated. These people might rank for the most annoying people to play with, but I bet you it isn't worse than the person who is the screamer. No way! The screamer is usually the person who is screaming for no reason, even when you are just trying to pick your agent. But then it may come to be that they're trying to seek attention. Well, the attention seeker is the player who is making loud noises and spamming the chat trying to get some attention for who knows what reason. The e-dater is... yeah. I asked him to duo because I was going to stream and then and and he said no, that he was busy, he didn't want to. And, and then he was in unrated with plus one. Uh, plus one? Yeah, and he said he was looking for other pocket sages. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. They have matching banners, matching names, matching everything. And if you go near their ear couple, they may actually want to bite you. We all have that one friend who wants to be the leader. This person is the player who is telling the team which site to go to when attacking, and when you're defending, they are assigning you to a site to defend. And you have no say whatsoever. While that friend is trying to be the leader, there is always the simp. This player keeps asking if there are any girls on the team, or even just asking the other team. Is, is there any girls on this team? That's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah. But once he finds that one girl, he instantly adds them. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to subscribe to the channel. 